YouTube channel. I welcome you back again into another episode. This is Jemina Naftali on the pediatric world. And uh, the, the, this channel is all about the kids' welfare, the medical problems, and also we try finding solutions. So I welcome you to this episode. And in today's episode, we are continuing on treatment of hypoglycemia in children. Remember the hypoglycemia? And we say this is a killer disease. It's a killer disease. So we need to be very, very careful while treating or while are handling these babies with hypoglycemia. So how then do we go about treatment? So we use something we call IV dextrose. Remember we mentioned it? And this IV dextrose, we have many concentrations. So uh, we have very many concentrations of uh, dextrose. And just to mention a few, uh, in our medical or in our facilities, you're going to find something we call 10% dextrose. This is one concentration. We also have 50% dextrose and we also have 5% dextrose. Having said this, the next question is, then out of these three, which one is the best at dextrose to use in treating hypoglycemia in children? So which concentration do we use? So we normally use a uh, 10%. The answer is 10% at uh, dextrose uh, is the concentration that is considered in uh, treating hypoglycemia in children. This is the one that is considered safe and effective uh, among to I mean to correct hypoglycemia in sick children. So now you know which our, our concentration is the best. We have just said it is ten percent dextrose. So what is the dose? What is the dosage of this ten percent dextrose? We we give uh, five meals. It is in form of meals. So we measure five meals of this ten percent dextrose per kg, and this we give over two to three minutes. Very, very important. We don't, to make, we don't want to make any errors while giving uh, this dextrose. So we are saying the dose is 5 ml per kg. Remember, in all cases, we say uh, any treatment, any drug, we do by kgs. When it comes to children, we just don't give like adults. We have to calculate by the kg of the baby. So we are saying 10% dextrose, dosage of 5 ml per kg over two to three minutes is what we use to treat hypoglycemia. Uh, uh, something to note, something to note, a note, uh, this is to note that uh, do not use 50% dextrose, never use 50% dextrose in treating hypoglycemia in children. And why? This will cause brain injury. Imagine, very, very uh, uh, dangerous again. It is going to cause a uh, brain injury. It is going to cause convulsions and eventually death. Imagine this is how serious uh, this is. So we don't want to cause this brain injury. We don't want to let uh, these babies to start conversing. Remember the convulsions. We have episodes about conversions. So we don't want these babies to converse and eventually we lose these babies. They, they, uh, we get death here. So we should be very, very careful. So this is why it should be in capital letters, guys, that never use 50% dextrose while correcting hypoglycemia in children. The low blood sugars don't use 50% uh, dextrose. And we have said we should use the 10% dextrose. It is the one we have said it is safe and effective. So please, please note that. Um, in newborns, in newborns, these are the very small babies. In newborns, 50% uh, dextrose again will cause the, this increased risk of uh, brain damage. And this is due to asphyxia, something we call asphyxia. And what is asphyxia maybe by definition or to make you understand? Uh, asphyxia is a... Uh, a low oxygen supply to the brain. So if the brain does not uh, get supplied well by uh, with oxygen, so this is called asphyxia. And we are saying uh, there's increased risk of brain damage 
and this is caused by this asphyxia, low oxygen supply to the brain. So this is very, very uh, serious and we should note that. So another question is, what if uh, in your facility, uh, the, med the, the uh, professional caregivers, what if in a facility uh, a child is brought and this child has hypoglycemia, we measure the sugars and we find that the sugars are below 2.5 minimals per liter, like we said. So what do we do if we do not have the 10% dextrose? The one that we are saying it is the very uh, safe and effective in treatment. So what do we do if we don't have this? So you can make it yourself, guys. You can be able to make the 10% dextrose. And imagine you use, uh, you make it by using a, uh, you use the 50% dextrose. Remember the other concentration we talked about, the one we have said we do not use it, but we use it, there's a way we dilute, uh, uh, we dilute and we use also something we call water for injection to make the 10% dextrose. I hope this is clear. Hope you're not lost anywhere. So we are saying if you don't have the 10% dextrose concentration, we can make it by yourself. And then guys, this is the end of this episode. In our next episode, we shall be seeing how, how to make uh, the 10% dextrose in hospitals if you don't have the 10% dextrose uh, ready. So this is it, my people. Uh, I hope you understand what uh, dextrose we use and why we don't use uh, the 50%. Now you know. Thank you so much, guys, for staying tuned. Thank you for listening. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed, please be part of this family. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe, like, share, and also leave a comment down below. Also, leave uh, turn on your notifications so that... Uh, you are among the first people to know every time I post a new video. Thank you so much.